All right, everybody, welcome back to uh, this is gonna be another Warframe video. I've been uh, been trying to decide, you know, trying to come up with ideas for different uh, for, uh, videos to do on Warframe. Um, I'm gonna do uh, some gameplay stuff to uh, mixed in. I'm gonna do some Eidolons, you know, some later later uh, later game things. I'm gonna do some just normal basic missions. I'm gonna talk about specific Warframe, specific weapons. Um, I got some, you know some ideas running through my head on what I can do on here, but today. I kind of wanted to do a, a a video about maybe maybe for this might be for newer players, and I'm gonna be talking about some of the mods in the game and different things like that. So I uh, got my mods pulled up here. Now uh, these amalgam mods; these are pretty new to the game. But um, I want to kind of go over. Okay, mods are the most important thing you can have in this game. I mean, that, that's just that's what makes your warframes more powerful, your weapons more powerful. And I think I'm going to try and get into some of the mods that you can get early on in the game that are really important. Now, if you go to the Warframe, Warframe mods here, there's some uh, there's some bronze mods that I feel like are very important, especially early game. Things like Vitality. And uh, when you start getting enough, um, uh, what am I thinking, Endo and uh, Credits and things like that to uh, rank these up. These are super important to the game. Get, as you can see here, it gives you plus 400% health. Which is, you know, early game. If you can get your health and your and your shields up, you can survive almost any mission with any Warframe, especially early game and the earlier missions with the lower level enemies. Uh, a lot of times, it won't even depend that much on the weapons you have. Uh, if you can get your health and shields up, that's super important. So if you mix this vitality here, now this one's almost ranked all the way to the top. Um, it's going to take time to get to that point because it requires so much endo and so many credits. So at the top right here. Yeah, you got your endo, 37,840. That's my endo. And then, of course, your credits up top there with 330,000. Um, let, let me just see. Let, let's see what the requirements will be if I wanted to rank this to the to the top level. I'm, I probably don't even have enough. Oh, I do. I actually do have enough. Wow. See, that would that would take uh, 5,000 endo and about 250,000 credits. So, I mean, this stuff can get expensive, you know. Um, as a matter of fact, should I do this? In fact, I might just do. Well, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> now, redirection is another one that, that's that's super important. This one is your shield capacity. As a matter of fact, I guess it depends a lot on the warframe you use. Some warframes don't even have shields. Um, so, I mean, it depends a lot on the warframe you use. And, and your health and shield are gonna go up as you rank up your warframe. You know, rank 30 is the highest you can get it to. Um, so, but I mean. Certain Warframes, stuff like that's not going to be very high. So you got the Redirection, you got the Vitality mods. Those are both super important, I feel like, early game. Plus, they're easy to get. You, you can get them to drop from a lot of different missions. Uh, I don't have the exact missions in front of me, but, you know, just jump into missions and play them, and you'll get those, you'll get those, a lot of these Bronze mods. Except for things like this Proton Pulse, you know, if it has a special design on it like that. That's from a specific, uh, those are from specific missions, but things like... Um, what do we got on here? I mean, just anything like aviator, or redirection, or steel fiber. That's plus eighty percent armor. Anything like that, you're gonna get to drop uh, in most missions. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else to talk about. Um, so me and in, in me saying that armor and shields are super important. Vigor here. Now I do have the prime version. I'm just gonna go to that. I have the primed. Do I? I thought I did. I do. So this is the Primed Vigor. It increases the shield and health capacity. Now, depending on what a Warframe's abilities are, you're going to want to add in other mods, um, such as Primed Continuity adds ability duration. Um, primed Flow ups your energy max. That's another really important one. But And then you have... Let's see what else. I'm trying to think of what else I have in here. You have these... Um, these special mods. Now, these things like Iron Shrapnel here are are, disguise, are de, uh, designed for Warframe-specific abilities. Now, I use the Rhino a lot. So this Iron Shrapnel here. There's an ability that Rhino has called uh, Iron Skin, where he gives himself like an extra layer of shields. Now, what this does is if I recast it when I have some on me, it detonates it. Deals 100% of its remaining health as puncture damage, so it goes through anything. It goes through armor and things like that. Puncture damage, and knocks down all the enemies around you. So if you get surrounded, 
and you have some iron skin left, you can hit that, it'll knock everything back, clear it for you. Um, now that's just one specific, you know, Warframes all have their own specific uh, augment mods. Now, I'm going to go show you the way you get uh, these augments, well, through trading. But the other way you would get them would be like with the factions here. Like say, I don't know, I'm just going to go into the one of the factions I'm not associated with. Let's say Cephalon Suda. And we go to View Offerings. Now see, uh, you go down here, and it has, each um, faction has certain Warframe mods. That's why you're going to have to trade for some of them. Unless you take the time to, to like, join another faction and, like, build that faction all the way up. And then go to another faction and build, because there's, each faction has an enemy, and they have an ally. Now, when you're upping a certain faction, you're going to like go down on all the other factions. Uh, only the ally of the faction you're, you're a part of and your faction are going to go up. So that's how that works. So as you can see, Cephalon Suda here has the uh, the Banshee augments. It has the Chroma. Uh, what else does it have? Frost, Ivara, Hydroid. Actually, I didn't realize that. Hydroid's one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> Hydroid's one of my favorite ones. It has that. What else does it have? Nova, Neza, uh, Octavia, the Revenants, so I mean, and each... Anyway, we're going to get into the uh, syndicates later on, but those are where you get the augment mods are from the syndicates. So, going back over here into the mods. Um, the Amalgam mods are pretty new. Uh, if you just start the game, I would try and work with people to get these... To get these uh, Amalgam mods, they'll help you out. They increase two stats instead of instead of one, like a normal one. would. Like, Fever Strike would be 135% Toxin. The Amalgams do Fire Rate and Revive Speed. So they're almost like... A, and these right here, these, these purples, these are called Riven mods. Now, these are also weapon-specific, but the additions that they can give your weapon, like, for example, this Hystrix that I have here, 112% Multi-Shot, 99% Ammo Maximum, and plus 120% Puncture Damage, now, some Riven mods are going to have a negative, but the fact that this is only negative 35% damage to Grenier doesn't even matter all that much, especially with other mods that I have on it. Um, so, these Riven mods can really, really make your, uh, make your weapon, you know, really, really good. I also have a statical Riven mod and then a, a Veiled. Now, the way you open these Riven mods is they're going to have a task on them. Kill 66 enemies while undetected. So, to unlock this Kit Gun Riven mod, that's what I would have to do. I'd have to go into a mission, kill 66 enemies without being detected by uh, cameras or another enemy, anything like that. So, you would take, like, you'd take a stealth Warframe, like the Loki or something like that, that can, where you can go invisible and kill things. Now, uh, you got your primed mods, which are basically, these are just advanced mods of the normal mods of the same name. They, they just give you, they just do, like, give you a higher percentage stat increase. So, the primed pressure point here, I don't even have it ranked all the way up. It's 100 plus 135% melee damage. That's a good one. Do I have a regular pressure point? You know, I don't even know. Let me look if I have a regular pressure point. Um, I don't. That sucks. Oh, what am I doing? I should be looking in the melee section. A dummy. Oh, I do have a regular. Okay, so, like, say I wanted to rank this up almost to the same point as that one. So, see, this one can only go up to 100. It says it up here in the top left. Plus 120% melee damage is the highest that the regular pressure point can go up to. So, you can see it's a huge stat increase. Plus, I don't even have pressure points. Prime pressure point all the way up. What does it go to? 145, I think. 165. Okay. So you can see the big increase there, the big difference, and you can see that would cost me like 1.4 million credits to get that one all the way to the top. The the primed mods do cost more. Um, what else could I talk about? I could talk about these special mods now. A lot of these you get from um, uh, the Plains of Eidolon or uh, uh, or Valus on Venus. Uh, the newer, like, open-world type places that they uh, came up with. And, see, it says there, 
during a, law, a wall latch, gain plus 17% damage reduction. Now, you see the three little bars above that, the three little long bars. If you get all three mods in this set, all the Proton mods, that goes up. Plus, it would go up for whatever's on the other ones. So, I'm, I'm trying to think if I have any... Um, that I could show you. Let me look. Let me see what mods I have on this Ivara here. Ah, I do. I got the Augur mods. Okay, so... You can see the bars filled up on each one. Now, this gives you ability strength, auger secrets, auger reaches range, and auger messages duration. Now, it says 160% energy spent on abilities is converted to shields. So, that's not that high when you first, like if you only had one of these mods on. So, if you had, if you took uh, this mod off and this mod off, see it's only 80% now. Right, so, it dropped down to 80%. Uh, now I have to go back and find those mods. <laughs> I'll find them anyway, but yeah, mods are super important to this game. Um, I'm going to get into specific builds for specific um, Warframes at, at some point. Uh, so yeah, at some point I want to get into specific builds for specific Warframes, specific weapons. Um, but, uh, okay, so er I'm going to start, I'm going to, you know, I'm trying to wrap this up. I would say some of the more important mods early game. Now this is for early game. I mean, I, I'm still using these even though I've been playing for like five years now. But early game, spe especially the vitality mod, uh, the redirection mod is extremely important. Um, you want to get that uh, health and shields up now. Um, these mods, these aura mods, are really important. Because when you put them on your Warframe, let's go back over here to the uh, to the Avara. When you put them on your Warframe, as you can see, I put Energy Siphon. It has to match with the same polarity, so the little uh, long line up next to the 14. That's the, uh, what was it called? That's right, Naramon. It's the Naramon uh, polarity. And if you do that, it doubles that number at the top right of the Warframe. So it doubled the uh, the energy siphon from 7 to 14. And what that does is it is it adds 14 to your capacity of your Warframe. 14 more points so you can add mods on. And also, if you click the right stick here, the Oricon Reactors, they, add, they double your mod uh, capacity. So those are really important too. If you get a, if you get a chance to get the Oricon Reactors or the Oricon... Um, oh my gosh, why can I not think of the name? We go to the Daiki. Catalyst. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. The Orc and Catalyst. Both of those are really important. Now, they're hard to get. Uh, you can get blueprints, but they're unlike some blueprints in the game, they're one-time use blueprints. Um, what else? You get mods from missions. You can get them from special missions. You can get them as rewards for certain missions. Um, I went over the Riven mods, I went over the Amalgams, kind of. I went over the Primed mods. Uh, what about for weapons? Let's see, primary weapons. Uh, that's for shotguns, and of course you got shotguns, you got assault rifles, you have um, um, sniper rifles, bows, there's energy weapons in the game. But in terms of early game, in terms of... Uh, In terms of uh, uh, bronze mods, what would be really good to get early game? Um, point strike would be a good one. Increase that critical chance by 150%. Um, what else do we got? There's not a lot of really unbelievable uh, primary weapon bronze mods. Um, Lingering Torment for status duration for Shotgun would be pretty good. Um, continuous Misery would be really good. That gives you plus 100% status duration. Uh, but a lot of the uh, primary gun mods, I feel like you have, you know, your status mods where it does electricity damage or fire damage or ice damage. And if you add certain ones of those together, it gives you like a brand new... Uh, type of status. Like if you added in, what is it, lightning and toxin. 
or lightning, yeah, and toxin. It, it gives you, like, corrosive damage, which eats away at enemies' armor. So you can, you know, work with different, uh, different, uh, status mods to bring things like that. Um, like, like things like point blank, which does shotgun damage. Anything that does damage increases your health, your shields. Anything that does status, or anything that does critical are all really important. Um, let's see. There's not very many uh, sniper-specific mods. Most of your rifle mods will go on the sniper rifles. Um, what else do I got here? Okay, once you get start getting up into the into the golds here, you get things like wildfire, which does heat heat damage and magazine capacity. Thunderbolt, um, vital sense is a good one. Let's see. Uh, Multi-shots, uh, depends on what gun you're using, but if you're using, like, assault rifles, multi-shot would be really good. That, that is 15 mod capacity, that's a lot. You'd probably want to have, um... Oh, that's right, something else I didn't show you guys. That's right, let me go back here. Go back to this Avara. Now you see some of these have, like, green up on the top right. Um, most weapons and Warframes come with at least one, uh... Polarity uh, slot on their on their warframe um, on the warframe. So I'm gonna take Nermond it off. You see how it has the uh, it has the the uh, the Vazarin polarity slot right up here. So when you put a mod into this of that type, it's going to reduce the mod cost by half. So what did I have there? Did I have narrow minded? I think I had narrow minded. So you put that there. And see, it reduced it. It reduced it from 14 down to 7. So those are also really important. Now, the way you get more of those on a, on a Warframe or a weapon is you would click, I'd click the right stick, and I'd go to Polarization. And it has to be max rank. It has to be a, a rank 30. Well, yeah, max rank, rank 30. And you would add a Forma on. Now, Formas are another thing that you can get, a blue, that you can get blueprints for. Um... The building cost isn't super expensive, it's just the things that it has you use. Things like Oricon cells, and so I have a weapon ready. I'm going to go ahead and just accept that. So, like, let me find you a form of blueprint. Where would the form of blueprint? There they are. Okay, now. There's a form of blueprint. I'm going to go ahead and build one, I think. But, see, so it only costs one of each, but these are, these are, um items that, in particular, the Orican cells. The Orican cells are used to build weapons. Uh, you use those to build prime weapons, prime warframes. See, I mean, uh, let's see how many of these need Orican cells. Like, the Distress of Prime here needs 10 Orican cells. Uh, let's see what else. 15 for the Kagake Prime. The Grom Prime needs uh, 15 Orican cells. So, Orican cells are... There's, I mean, they're not... Rare to the point where it's just completely impossible to find them. Each planet has their own specific resources that they do, but they're they're a I mean they're they're a hot commodity because they're something that you're going to need for a lot of different things. Now the good thing about the formas is it only takes one Oricon cell, and one of each of these neural sensors, neurodes, morphics. I'm going to go ahead and start building one. So see, I have 16 blueprints left, as you can see. I own two formas now. Something that they did that's really good. Go up here to the front of the ship. If you go here, if we go to the night wave, the night wave is something that just got. It. Speaking of, I just got my uh, forma right there. So, so you can get forma through this now. Uh, you can buy forma through some of the the Plague Star missions that are going on in the game. I mean, really cool stuff. Stuff that really helps a lot. Um. But there's not a whole lot else to say about the mods. Like I said, I'm going to get into specific mods. I'm going to go ahead and just do some stuff in the background while I'm talking to you guys. I'm going to do some specific mod, uh, or so specific builds for certain weapons and certain Warframes. If there's, if there's anything at all in any weapon you'd like to see me do a build on, if I have the weapon, I'll definitely do it. Uh, if I don't have the weapon, it's going to be kind of hard. But if I have the weapon, I'll definitely do it for you guys. Um... And if I can afford it. If I can afford it, I'll get it. Now, is there anything else for me to say about mods? I don't really think so. 
I went over most of it. Um, if there's anything else specific that you want me to go over, please tell me. Um, there's the ribbon mods. Oh, these are uh, stance. Uh, no, those are duplicate mods. I'm sorry. These are beast mods. Um, these go with your Kubros, your Kavats. Um, yeah, your Kubros and Kavats. They have their own specific mods. Uh, your robotic mods, which go with your things like the Worm. Uh, uh, I can't think of any what any of the other ones are called, but these are like your uh, uh, companions that you take with you. Now, you can take a Kavat or a Kubro, but you can also use these things like the, the Helios... Uh, the Worm, those are uh, companions you can take with you as well. They have their own specific... Now, some of these are super useful. Things like... Uh, well, if I can find it... They're, like, there's, for example, there's one where it pulls in item... Uh, like, resources and things around you so that you don't even have to, like, run over the top of them. It just pulls them into vacuum. There it is. Gathering, it detects and collects items, including mods. It just pulls them into you, so you can just kind of run around the battlefield, not worrying about running over the tops and mods and things like that. So, vacuum would be a really important robotic mod to have. Uh, you got your, um, so you got your, oh, is it here? I guess it is. You got your Arcwing mods. The Arcwing in the game right now doesn't have super usefulness. Um, I'm hoping they do some more with it in the future. But yeah, there's your Arcwing stuff. Uh, you got your Arcwing gun and your Arcwing melee weapons. Those are spe uh, weapons specific to the Arcwing. Except, unless you beat the uh, the boss on Orb Vallis on Venus, the Prophet Taker, you get a thing where you can deploy one of your uh, Arc weapons down to you on the ground. But I hope they do more with the Arcwing in the future. I think it needs some kind of overhaul, some kind of upgrade. Uh, these are Exilus mods. I'm not going to get specific into the Exilus mods right now. The Exilus mods, I'm not sure quite sure how you pronounce it. They're stance mods. Now, these are really important. Uh, these do the same kind of thing that Aura mods do to the Warframes, where they increase the mod capacity on your weapons. Uh, the melee weapons. So, like, this is for Hammers, Crushing Ruin, um, Defiled Snapdragon, which is for Blades and Whips. So, um, stance mods are really cool, really important to have. Uh, here's all your melee mods. I mean, you got things like pressure point, primed pressure point, uh, prime breach, prime fury. I, I put prime fury and prime pressure point together a lot of the time. It increases the attack speed and the melee damage. Uh, you can also get the regular versions of these fury and pressure point if you wanted to. I mean, if you're new to the game, you know you can get the you can get those easy. I'm pretty sure. I know pressure point's a, a bronze mod. Is fury a bronze mod? I don't. I might not even have fury. I don't. I can't remember if Fury... I think Fury is a silver mod. Yep, there it is. I was going to say, I think Fury is a silver mod. Uh, your secondary weapon mods and your primary weapon mods, now these obviously all work the same in in in, in the sense, you know, they, they're for those weapons, or for the primary, the, the sidearms, and the melee weapons. Um, there's your augment mods I was talking about before, um, your aura mods I was talking about before, and there's your warframe mods for your warframes. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know there was no gameplay. It was more of a simple video, kind of for beginners, things like that. Um, leave down in the comment section anything you want me to talk about. Uh, anything specific you want me to talk about. Any specific mods, any specific builds for certain... Uh, got the freaky looking fish there. Any specific mods you want to see. Any specific builds for certain Warframes or weapons you want to see. Um, and I think that's it. I, I'm pretty sure that's all I have. Uh, I pretty much went over almost everything. Um, you can't you can't build mods. You, you, I mean, you have to trade for them or find them out in the. And you can get on Google, and you can find out where any mod is. I mean, there's mods will drop from something. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. It was more of a simple video. Um, don't forever don't ever forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Um, I'm going to keep my Final Fantasy X playthrough going. I'm going to keep these Warframe videos coming. Uh, wait and see. Cody should have a video sometime. At least, maybe even with me. Who knows? It's hard to say what his videos are going to be. But yeah, hit the notification bell. Uh, comment down in the comment section. Let me know. Tell me things I can improve on. Uh, telling me builds you want to see. Anything like that. But uh, 
You guys have a good day and uh, stay safe out there. Yeah. <laughs>